got to meet Bremo, the whole crew from Unfinished Legacy, you know, everyone out here having a good time. Sunny day in LA, so, you know, just trying to have a good time. This is my, personally, my favorite piece right here. Personally, my favorite piece, Max. So far. Uh, Dickie's jacket, and uh, on the back, I'm gonna put that design on. No, I want to, though. What? How, how do you know how to do it? Your video, watching? Yeah, your video. Watching? Yeah. That's crazy. I just like a reminder of like how important the work that we're doing is, like putting out YouTube videos uh, and connecting <laughs> with people one on one. It's kind of, I don't know. I feel I feel really good about this. It just looks good, like visually. Screen printing all day today and tomorrow so I'm just kind of making sure I'm clearing the ink and just wiping them down so they're ready for the pop-up since this is our first delay pop-up uh, we're basically trying to get rid of a lot of our inventory and also connect with uh, anyone who's been following the brand uh, we moved here six months ago so it's it's really a good opportunity for people to just come out and you know just connect with us uh, in person beyond just like social media uh, yesterday and today I was just kind of printing a lot of just like one of ones like uh, vintage denims that we've uh, select selected like over the past like six months and then uh, car hearts as well and some shorts so a lot a lot of printing the past like two days all right so so this one was just one of the ones I we recently printed it I really like the colors the primary colors in this uh, this this graphic here I, I'm like really a big fan of and this is a phrase that we're kind of just like I'm carrying I guess for the rest of like this year so it's like in like a constant pursuit of like creative fulfillment um, so if you take a look in here there's a bunch of uh, a bunch of like vintage Levi's all different colors uh, different tones so and we got the, these two just very simple clean uh, pair of dickies uh, we have a few selection of those there are some vintage ones in here too which are like beat up but uh, a mixture of all i think pop-up spaces it's usually like a good good place to kind of just like sell almost everything that you have because uh, even even if some some test print that I, I like messed up on, I, we could just sell those at the pop up too. Because whoever's buying it is gonna like take a look at it, see if they like it. They could see where the where it's, the product is maybe damaged or like the misprint, and then they could decide that for themselves. And we're also selling a lot of like our samples from 
this past year too, which we we've been dropping every week. So we have a lot of samples uh, DTG uh, that we'll be kind of getting trying to get rid of, just so we're also clearing space for new designs and new inventory. Um, okay, the the one th the the one thing about this pop up too that makes it a bit different. Uh, our studio is on the second floor uh, on Santee Street, uh, and the pop-up is going to be right below us uh, downstairs at Studio 101. So that means we could just like transport everything very easy, and we're also breaking down the big screen printer to bring it down there, which won't be too much of a hassle, uh, versus if we were to do a pop-up somewhere far, it might be a little, uh, difficult to like transport everything uh, and just moving back and forth so that's that's the plus for this one which I'm, I'm excited about I feel like the big screen printer like something that everyone when they see it is like oh wow this is crazy this is like a big like you know setup and like just very mechanic and and that's something that I think a lot of people I, I guess enjoy at the pop-ups <laughs> Um, last thing, what else are you excited for, just in general, for the pop-up? <laughs> are you distressed? <laughs> what, what are your um, feelings? I mean, I, I, I don't really have any, any expectations. I feel like this was one of the first pop-ups we kind of just put a little bit of energy, like, trying to uh, promote. Uh, so we've done a lot of, like, social media uh, promotion, uh, just posting the flyers and the stories and on the feeds. Um, and I'm just, I mean, I'm, I'm hyped to like meet a lot of people cause I feel like LA is just so much creatives out here. So, uh, that would be always a good opportunity to link with people in real life, uh, beyond social media, you know, like I follow so many creatives in LA, so it'd be cool to even like, I don't know, chat with a few of them if they pull up to the pop-up. For sure. Yeah. That's super sick. I feel like this is a dope like timestamp for us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these little conversations in the beginning and stuff, something we can look back on for ourselves. No, definitely. I feel like, yeah, the more, the more we do pop-ups, too, I think just uh, the more, I guess, we kind of have a, a system in place and, and just, so we're not just winging things. We kind of, all right, this is, this is what we need to do. Like, uh, the day of the pop-up, like, we're all kind of on the same page. Uh, everyone has their own, like, their task for the day um, and that makes it just makes it a little easier and and less stressful uh, and I feel like the, the more the more you do something the less stressful it gets sometimes uh, so for us like if this was our first pop-up I'll probably just be like all over the place but <laughs> I kind of know where I'm, I'm gonna be at like I'll be screen printing so I'm just making sure all the supplies are good to go uh, and and I also just know like we'll be printing for like four hours and just putting a break in between those and not just like exhausting myself throughout the whole process because that's something that in the past we definitely like I stood there like for probably eight eight hours like the screen printing so it's so it's like realizing what could be improved and then improving them uh, in the future so and this is it for sure Or
Is this all the product? I get no kick from champagne. Their alcohol doesn't thrill me at all. So tell me why shouldn't it be true? I get a kick out of brew. There's only one beer left. Rappers screaming on in our ears like we're deaf. Tempt me, do a number on the label. Beat up all the MCs and drink them under the table like it's on me. Put it on my tab, kid, however you get there. Foot it, cab it, iron horse it. You leave it on your face, forfeit. Of course the mic, hold it like the heat, he might toss it. Told her, tell him they stole it. He told her he lost it. She told him, get off it and a bunch of other more shit. Get money, DTs be getting no new leads. It's like you need watermelon, stay spit, new seeds. Mr. Weed, give me some of what he drooping off. As soon as he wake up, choking like it was whooping cough. They grouping soft. First hour at the open bar, they trooping off. He went to go laugh and get some head by the side road. She asked him on a graph of derriere red to wide load. This yard bro tastes like fried toast. Turn up villain. Cold crooked eye mold, nerd geek with a cold heart. Probably still be speaking in rhymes as an old fart. He'll study how to get to die by the pizza guy. No, he's not too far to ski. All right, so I just gave you my hat because I care about you. But we're here at Studio 101, Unfinished Legacy pop-up, our first LA pop-up, solely for ourselves. Come on inside. So right now, the pop-up hasn't started. We're about an hour away from, from opening the doors. Right here, we're gonna have a checkout, our DJ setup, speakers, music, vibes. Over here, right here, you can see our a sampled carpet for people to come and put their toes on if they so please, you know. Um, <laughs> over here, we got our denims, I mean our, our painted pants that Burma just smashed out this week, featuring some of our new designs that we're previewing at our pop-up, but they're dropping at the end of the month. So exclusive access for a lot of these pieces. We have a bunch of those painter pants. We have these double knee car hearts. We have a plethora of Vicks Levi's. We got some Dicky pants. We got another one there. Um, these Dicky pants. And we brought the big boy. It's the first time that we've ever brought our six color press down for a pop up. So it's going to be interesting. We expect a lot of people to come wanting to customize some of their pieces. So hopefully we'll be able to pump those out really fast. Back here we have our outerwear and our sweaters. We have a bunch of our vintage crew necks as well. We have a bunch of one-on-one -on -one crew necks left over from our last drops. We have all these one-on-one -on -one colorways that we've never even shown anybody. So I'm curious to see how people really engage with these pieces because I really like like this yellow long sleeve is one of my favorites. Back here we got some samples and some of our latest products. And then we got some, we got a lot of stuff here, man, but it's a vibe. It's a nice consolidated space. Um, and it's gonna be fun. So. Yeah. 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 And I got a colorful aura, mm. like I got neon. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 And I 
I got a gun like for all right. Like I got neon guns. Admit it, I move like amoeba. Yeah, I float in the room like I'm reefer. Yeah, alien, I'm not your kind of people. Oh, the eyes. Tell the eyes. Watch how I reach a boy. You ain't got ever rules, Brainer. Nah, you ain't got rich at the sleeve, no sir. And I got a rose that's in the grove that I ain't drawn. Shit, I don't know the reason. Underlay, underlay, reverb. How long do they live? They live like seven years. Hola, me and Jay Babin on G5. Join us. Success is a drug hand, man. We high. I your mother is a beehive. Yeah. I got love for you haters. Yeah. Ain't you tired of enslaving? Huh? Come with us, make some paper. Change. Cause you should own what you label. Yeah, you never stayed in Kalua. I push it now on my shoulder. Flooded my chain and it goes. I don't want that girl, she moves. I'm basically saying I'm cooler. Get DR discounts from my cougar. Back in the sixth grade, I got the bad grades. I was in love with my tutor. See, music we lose. Trapping the band. Hell yeah, bro. Talk to you? Yeah, what's going on? Nah, something that that really caught my eye is uh, I like talking to these customers, like for real. Like, the fan base or the cult that you guys are creating with this brand is, is really fire and it's uh, inspiring. Like, these people just don't buy clothes. It's like, it's, it's more than that. And that's pretty dope. Me as a designer, that, that's what I want to get into. So, like, it's, it's really dope, like, uh, seeing this message. Absolutely, man. I appreciate you. Glad you could be a part of it. Yes. <laughs> Grateful. I'm DJ the Genius and welcome back. The pop-up is activated. Come on in, let's see what's going on. We got Courtney on the vibes. Yeah, shout out Courtney. We got our beautiful supporters here, checking out some of their favorite pieces. We got the homie Sam in the building. Shells is here. We have guests. Yeah. Same stuff is here. We got our t-shirts, we got our one-on-ones, our last sizes, some exclusive pieces. The vibes are here. And it's activated, making connections, talking to people about how they've been introduced to the brand or why they follow the brand. It's been a beautiful experience thus far. Only got a couple more hours left. I think like one more hour. Psych! Ah, look, I was testing <laughs> I was like, you, I was testing you. This is day one. It's about, what, like, it's about to be six o'clock soon? So we got three more hours. We've only been here for two hours. And tomorrow is a new day. We gotta, we gotta come with some different vibes. I don't know what tomorrow's gonna be like. We gotta do a tour tomorrow for sure. What's it on that beat? Feeling like I'm floating to the ceiling. Is it magic? Baby, tell me why you disappearing. Is it magic? I won't never tell him how I did it. It was magic. Can you imagine? Honey in the mattress. But the way I stack it, I can make it rain. Blue honeys, can you catch it? Can somebody come through bluffing? I'ma blast them and tell the police I don't know what happened. If I gave a fuck about a six, I'd always be broke. I never get to pull up in the bins when my locs growing up. We was cold, so we hopped off that post with a gun trying to blow, trying to kick down your door. But that's so nice. Thank you for working with us. Oh my god, I love you guys. I literally forehead kisses for all of you. I feel like I'm like the UL cheerleader. I'm like. <laughs> no, you're on the team. I'm the team, I'm the game. Yeah. I'm big, so janky. Now them niggas down the street still hate me. Hope little baby know that she can't play me. Dumb hoe, love cost, but the game free. Dumb hoe. Feeling like I'm floating to the ceiling. Is it magic? Baby, tell me why you disappearing. Is it magic? I won't never tell them how I did it. It was magic. Can you imagine? Honey in the mattress. Tell the way I stack it. I can make it rain. Blue honey, can you catch it? Get somebody going through. I'm going to blast it. And tell the police I don't know what happened. Come on. Hey, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. You have no idea. I'm so excited. Good. Damn. Day one. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Talk to me. Day one. We sold some denims. We got those empty hangers. Our sample box is diminished. It's nothing now. So, sorry for our day two people. We'll have more products. Nothing will be $20 though. Honestly, I missed out on that. We have a bunch more stuff. We're gonna go upstairs 
tonight, and I'm gonna figure out what I can bring down to make tomorrow special oh, for you guys. So, but yeah, Brema printed. I don't know how you didn't print that much, which is which is interesting because people just really like the pieces that we have as they are, you know. Um, the turnout was great though. The turnout was beautiful. That's a wrap for day two. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Last time you seen me, I was kombucha boy. Now, I'm a donut boy. <laughs> wow, this dude. This, this is a fire. Shout out donut friend. Y'all, y'all need some good vegan donuts? Vegan donuts. Y'all stop by donut friend down on 6th and Broadway. Tell him I sent you to get $5 off nothing. <laughs> this is not a paid ad. You excited for today? The day two, give him a little, a little recap. Another recap, dude. Like it's just. It's know, like a little one. This is short. Yesterday one. was smooth. It was chill. Today is another day. Today's gonna feel brand new. I feel like. I agree, new faces. bro. We already had people outside, right? Lined up right now. Yeah, we have people out there, right? Mm-hmm. What's up? That's good, bro. Good hey, to see man. you. Good to see you, too. Good to see you, bro. How's it going, guys? You guys here for the pop-up? Yes, sir. Sweet. Where are you guys from? Uh, San Jose. Oh, San really? Jose. Sick. That's really dope. <laughs> <laughs> you guys come here just for this? Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> we made a trip out of it. <laughs> That's awesome. How far is San Jose? Eight hours. Wow. You drove yeah. eight hours? Yeah. What time do you get up this morning? Uh, four in the morning, and then I went to go pick her up because she goes to Santa Barbara. So I went wow. to go pick her up, yeah. That's amazing. Thank you guys so much for coming. Hey. Yeah, you guys gotta chill, screen print, do it all. All the screen printing shit way back. All yeah. That's a soft hell yeah, bro. We were in the basement trying to do it too. Hell yeah. We were in the basement doing it too. All growth, man. Starts. I started very small. Linking up with everyone, it's art right there. That dude is a fucking yeah. yeah. Very low key, but knows knows it all. Yeah, it's so inspiring just to see someone actually go out and show other people how you can just do it on your own. Like, yeah. You don't see that every day. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. What are you guys' names? Uh, my name's Axel. Michael. Nice to meet you. Caden. Yeah. Nice Sweet. to meet. You. Yeah, man. But we're out here making clothes now. I'm going to school out here. Did you make yeah, I just sure. made this real quick last night. Oh shit! Okay. That's sick. I just needed like a nice flowy shirt for today. We have like some outings today, so I want a little nice yeah. shirt. Nice, dude. Here we go. We are waiting to open our doors for day two of the pop up at Studio 101. So right now we have beautiful supporters here. Yeah. What's up? Yo yo yo. You know what I'm saying? You should ask them to shout themselves out, you know? Yeah. They here. Hey, wait, you guys come over here. Hey, bro, from Orange County. Yeah. Oh, shit, I'm 17. Yeah. I was about to say I'm 18. <laughs> 17. You know me. Ripping that, ripping that color blank. Yeah. The POEs. Not much. Sick, bro. Sick. Where are you? Where are you, where are you What's from? What's up, bro? I'm Bird. You know, I'm the owner of Colorblind. You know, I was supporting the guys and shit. You know, let's get it, bro. Sweet man. Yeah. I like the cameras. Yeah man, yeah. You, you shoot, know. that's sick. Yeah. Yeah, I got you guys some gear and shit too, so. Oh shit, no way. Yeah, Fire, yeah, yeah. bro. How long have you been following the brand? I don't know. Probably about like maybe about like two years now. Sweet. Two years. That's dude. really dope. Yeah, so yeah. Pre move to LA. Yeah, yeah. When you guys that's were really when you guys sick. were back when home we and first shit. got our studio. <laughs> when you guys were back home, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, that's awesome. You man. guys are out thank here, you. so you know I had to come out and show my support, you know. Yeah, thank yeah, you for the support, yeah, course, bro. I really course. appreciate it. Yeah. Welcome everyone. The unfinished legacy pop-up. Day two. Everybody make some noise. Everybody make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> We just need 30 minutes to set them up. Activate the vibes. Yeah, the speakers, yeah. Up downstairs. 
I told you always be ready. You always got excuses and you know I be on top of things. Punctual my proper name. On the dot is not your aim. Although we in love, we are not the same. Uh, I hit you on that celly. You said you needed five. That was more than 12 ago. Claim you got your hands tied. Time stuck like Velcro. Georgia Peach on east side like it's ATL. You lacking, you tripping, you slacking. Impatient, you be waiting. You like what happened, you get out of here. This is my personally my favorite piece right here. Personally my favorite piece, Smacks. Hell oh, yeah. Very fine. Yeah. So what piece did you grab? Uh, I mean, uh, I got the Unfinished Legacies. Nice. Dickie's jacket, and uh, on the back, I'm gonna put that design on. Which one? The, the world. The world. Yeah. Sick. That's and gonna also, be really dope. If please I don't get die, it. bro. If oh I my god, it, please be safe. Should I get on here first and then climb on there? just like a reminder of like how important the work that we're doing is like putting out YouTube videos uh, and connecting <laughs> with people one on one I don't know I feel, I feel really good about this this whole experience uh, getting to meet people in real life uh, you Man, this is crazy I'm gonna be on on the unfinished legacy channel that's what's up dude yeah how are you doing Doing good, bro. Just how, was, how was the pop-up? You just experienced it? It's dope. Got to meet Bremo, the whole crew from Unfinished Legacy. You know, everyone out here having a good time. Sunny day in LA. So, you know, just trying to have a good time. Hell yeah, Yes, man. sir. Yes, sir. How long have you been following us as a whole? Um, I would say almost about a year since you guys were in Milwaukee. So once I heard about you guys coming to LA, man, it was probably like the best thing I've ever heard <laughs> in Dang. 2021. So yeah, oh, yeah, that's what's up. Why, uh, what like drew you to us in the first place? Would you say like what what kept you watching? You know, it was more of a you know the more of the community. You guys were really out here like you know trying to spread a message. You know, obviously through the clothing brand. 
and then mostly like the it was more like you guys as a whole too like it wasn't just like you know just the clothing brand itself it was more like i built a relationship with you guys as well and i got to learn like each from each individual from you guys so yeah that's beautiful bro. yeah that's what's up yeah so you knowing the meaning of the brand and everything it stands for yeah what would you say is your unfinished legacy um i feel like my unfinished legacy is more of like learning about myself you know that's more of about it you know because there's a lot of things in the world that people don't know about themselves and then i feel like you know just learning about that them, learning about themselves is the most important thing in life Hell yeah, yeah man. So that's really, what's really dope. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, what'd you end up popping? Tell me oh, about. I got the, let's see. Got this piece right here. Nice. Yeah, right here. That's fire. Yeah, and then I got the, I got the screen print with the, the, the one and only Brema. Yeah, right here. hell yes, yeah. Yes, sir. Unfinished Dude. legacy, baby. Right so sick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, bro. Yeah, Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah, you're all good. good. <laughs> Dude, facts. You should tell me a little bit about what you do and stuff, too. Just tell me about the pop up or whatever. Break it down. What's up? Oh, what? About my artwork? Yeah, what's your name and what do you do? Ike. I make wood mosaics, wood wall art. Uh, yeah. I just cut wood and make new unique shapes That's for people. Sick. I love it. Hell yeah. From Milwaukee too, right? From Milwaukee, yeah. baby. For sure. Oh, yeah, you guys have to have insurance, yeah. though. How you doing? Oh, uh, how am I? <laughs> Alright, uh... <laughs> Hard one. <laughs> I feel like I'm still in, like, cloud nine. I, uh, That's I didn't awesome. eat today, but I, I'm super... Yeah, I'm super energetic. I'm hyped. Uh, I feel like I'm losing my voice. Talked to so many people. Uh, I think that's my favorite part of, like, I guess, operating the brand is getting to connect with people, like, face-to-face -face and, like, having conversations and, like, even continuing conversation, too, because there's a lot of people that came through from, like, Oh, I saw you guys at Long Beach, or like I was at your Milwaukee pop-up. So it was like really cool to just continue those conversations, uh, start new conversations, and yeah, just screen print with the community. Like that's super fun for me. Gene, that's the. How you doing? <laughs> I'm tired, dude. I need food. Yeah. I need. Uh, yeah. <laughs> water, liquid, I need and everything. Food. I, need, yeah. I got some water. Yeah, uh, would good, you guys though. say this is our first official LA? This is our first official LA pop up. Yeah, at Studio, Studio 101. Yay! I think, yeah, I, I, feel like, I feel like this is a historical moment because our studio is right upstairs and uh, the pop up happened right downstairs. So it was easy to like move everything down. Uh, and then, somewhat, I feel like people already kind of knew that this is the area that we're operating the brand from because we have a few shirts hung up around these like poles. So. It's kind of cool to like put that stamp like we're here in LA and like we're trying to just grow and expand the brand and expand the vision. So, yeah. Sick, man. <laughs> <laughs>